Hiya friends, welcome to Kitten Brush. Today I have a really fun video for us today. We're gonna draw Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, and I also have a Sonic video up as well. The link is in the description below. So grab a pen and some paper and let's get started. So we're gonna start on the left side this time. And I'm just gonna draw a small curve there. This is the start of um, Knuckles' eye. And then I'm just gonna bring up that curve and it's gonna look like a hook. And just keep bringing that up and over to form the back side of his eye. Now let's go back to the first curve we made. And I'm just gonna add a slight curve here. And now for the eye, I'm just gonna do a thin U shape. And then the pupil, which is gonna be leaning more toward the left, so it looks like he's facing forward in front of him. <laughs> All right, just cleaning up this line. I'm gonna drag down a, a curve, just dragging down that curve from the top of the eye. And now I'm gonna start on his glove because I can't really go anywhere else without drawing this glove. So I'm just gonna make a slight curve here, just bending over. And then I'm gonna bring down a line and it's slightly curved, less curved so than the top. And then another curve on the bottom. And then let's just connect those two with another slight curve. Now I'm gonna go ahead and draw the cuffs to his gloves. So those are just, um, you just draw a small curve on the top and then just bring it down and create another small curve on the bottom and just repeat and just stacking them on top of each other. Now the front of the glove, we're gonna draw the two points there. Just draw two peaks. It's like a sideways V there or a sideways W, whichever. So I'm just gonna add a little curve to the his brow. And then let's go underneath that first curve that we made and make a small curve there as well. And then an oval for Knuckles' nose. And then just under that nose, I'm just gonna put a line there and then just bring it down. We're gonna curve it, curve it around and up. We're making it look like Knuckles, is, he's sort of snarling. I guess you could call it a snarl. And then under that curve for his mouth, put another curve for his chin. And then we're gonna come back to that curve for his mouth and just sort of mirror that other, that curve above it. And let's add some teeth. You're just gonna add some straight lines there. All right, now I'm just gonna go just below his eye and add a small curve just to finish that off now that I've had the glove there and then drag that curve down from his eye. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drag that curve just underneath the glove there. So I guess these are his quills. It's sort of supposed to look like quills um, because he's uh, an echidna which is not in the same family as the porcupine. It's more like, I think they're more related to a platypus and they lay eggs. Isn't that crazy? So now for his head, we're gonna make his forehead. And it's not as pronounced as Sonic's. It actually goes up more gently, I guess you could say. And then at the top, I'm just gonna, it's gonna steeply fall down. All right, now let's go ahead and draw his chest. And I'm just gonna drag down a long curve for his chest and torso. And it's gonna end just right below that section, that first section of quills that we made. And now going to the left of the body, I'm gonna draw his second glove. And this is gonna be a little bit more narrow than the first glove 
um, because you're seeing it from um, the side here. So I'm just gonna draw a curve for the top and then bring it down. We do want it the same length, but not the same width. I'm just measuring just to make sure I have it the right size. So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more and then curve it around and then just connect that those two top, top and bottom. And then let's draw his thumb and you're just gonna draw a curve, sort of like a backward C there for his thumb. And now for the cuff of his gloves, just draw another, like the bottom of the C, and then just bring it up until it meets his body. And then do the same thing for that second part of the cuff. Now for the inside of the cuff, this is gonna look a little different. It's not gonna look as pointy because you're seeing it from um, almost the top. So I'm gonna draw two curves there. And then I'm just gonna round it out a little bit on the top and just repeat for that second, um, that second point. So yeah, they're not supposed to look as pointed because the way you see them, um, the angle that you see them. So now let's go ahead and draw that arm there that's invisible and just have a glove hanging there on the air. So I'm going to bring out a line, it comes up just a little bit, and then I'm going to round out that elbow, just want to make sure that I'm coming, not going down too far, so I'm just making a little line there underneath the cuff of his glove, and I'm just going to drag a line down to that little mark that I made. And then just draw another line that just forms a crease in his arm. And now I'm gonna go ahead and draw that second bunch of quills there. So I drew a line just above the cuff of his glove and now I'm gonna go to the right of it and draw a longer line. And I'm just gonna draw it behind that arm just trying to match up my lines and then just bring up bring it down to a point and then come up and meet it and I realized that I probably wasn't leaving enough room on my paper so I had to stop and adjust my paper so now back to work let's go ahead and finish off that last group of quills there but just bring down that line for the top of the head and then you're just gonna make a point right there. Now let's go ahead and start on the lower half of his body. Wait, before I move on, I'm gonna draw um, the marking on his chest. So you're gonna draw a big curve there just on his chest and then come up and you want to draw a line that's parallel and you might have to go underneath that spike on his gloves and now let's uh, work on the lower half of his body I'm just making sure okay yeah let's go ahead and add the back there so underneath his arm I'm gonna add just a slight curve for his back and now let's go down to where that line where we made for the, the torso and the chest. You're gonna draw a slight curve there for his thigh, then round out a knee, and then bring down a line. And then to the right out line, you're gonna draw his calf, just a curve. And then a little bit way down on that curve, I'm gonna draw a straight line forming the bottom of his thigh. And I'm just gonna round that out a little bit now I'm going to come back up to his back and try to form the rest of his back. So 
So going down to his leg now, um, I'm gonna add a curve there, just connecting those two lines. Now for the sock, you're gonna go on each side of that leg and draw a little curve and then just gradually bring down that curve and make sort of a little wave on each side. And then just connect those two lines. Now under that right curve, you're just gonna draw um, a slight curve for the back of his shoe, his heel. And then draw another curve for the back of the sole, a little indent there in the sole and then another curve. And now come back up to that cuff of his uh, sock. And you're gonna draw a slight curve for the top of the shoe and then just round that out and connect it to the sole. And I'm just gonna outline the sole here. And I'm adding, it's almost a rectangle shape, but it's um, a little bit more free form because it's going along with that shoe. And then just a round curve here, just showing some details in the shoe, and then another curve for the heel. And you're just gonna draw some little circles in here. These are the eyelets of a shoe. And now we have that first shoe finished. Now let's finish up the back leg. But before I do that, I need to finish up <laughs> the back and the tail. So I'm just gonna extend the back and form a little wave here. Actually, it's kind of a big wave because it's his tail. And then come down to that bottom line where his thigh is and just extend that tail out. And I had to adjust again. I'm drawing my pictures way too big and it's messing things up. So now under that bottom, uh, curve that you just drew for the tail, draw another line. This will be for his other thigh and just round it out. And then extend out another line. And now come up again to that line and just make another line for the thigh and then a curve for his calf. And then just connect that line for the calf and his shin that we drew with a curve. And now we're gonna do the same thing, just drawing his sock here, the cuff. We're just making some curves on each side of the leg. And then a slight wave. And then you're gonna connect those two waves with a curve slight curve. Right, and now let's do the shoe. And again, this is just a slight curve for that heel. And then you wanna place another curve, this is the bottom of the sole, followed by um, a dent. I'm gonna make sure I don't go down too far down here. And then another curve past that dent where the front of his foot. And now just go um, next to that cuff and you're gonna make another curve and then round it down to the sole. And then I'm just gonna outline the sole here, giving some detail to the shoe. And then a curve here and then a straight line, almost straight line, <laughs> for that rectangular piece. And then just drawing my buttons. And my buttons, oh my gosh, those are bad. I don't know what happened. And then a curve, just doing the more, more details in the shoe. And then a curve for that heel. And I have to fix these buttons because they're driving me crazy. Now come back up to the nose. I'm just gonna draw a highlight in there and color in the nose. Make it look a little shiny. 
All right, so I think our outline of knuckles is finished. I'm going to go ahead and add some color with some alcohol markers. Um, I'm also going to add some glitter um, and some more color trailing behind Knuckles as he's running um, and some glitter around his gloves. Um, so yeah, enjoy the music and I will catch you at the end of the video. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed drawing along with me, drawing Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button to see more kitten brush videos in the future.